that. If our minds could be controlled, mm -hmm. not by our, our, our emotions, but by our faith in God, I think most of us wouldn't be dealing with anxiety. Where do you have to go in your mind, Henry, to, to get to that place? I don't worry about anything, because there... I do not worry about money. Hmm. I promise you, the repo man could be coming 8 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. And I would go to bed at 10 o'clock tonight. No worries. Remember that one time when we was in a car and you told me that you had it all under control? Oh, and you're now a man. You're a man. <laughs> you're supposed to help me. People, point, mind your point. own business. Yes. Stop looking at people's lives yes. and trying to compete. Yeah, now, now, another thing is, what does anxiety look like? We're talking like about anxiety. You. <laughs> it looks like you. Wow. That's what it does. Wow. Because you mess up my plans, man. Wow. I'm you trying sure to did. deliver a message. <laughs> anxiety looks like wow. you. Welcome to Henry Fernandez podcast. I am your host, Henry Fernandez. If this is your first time tuning in to the podcast, I want to welcome you. Now, kick off your shoes, and I want you to spend a little time with us. I hope that today's topic will be a blessing to you. Also, let me encourage you to support us by subscribing and clicking on the notification bell mm -hmm. so that you don't miss an upload. Now, if you're already a Real One subscriber, thank you so much for supporting us by tuning mm -hmm. in to watch. As always, I encourage you to share this video with a friend and hit the like button, I should say, and leave us a comment below. Now, on today's podcast, we're going to be <laughs> dealing with the topic of fear and anxiety. That's a good one. Fear and anxiety. And with, with what's going on in our world today and even dealing with some of the issues we are going through personally, it is no wonder people are dealing with such fear and anxiety regarding their past, present, and even their future. If you're dealing with this, I hope, my friends, I really, really hope if you're dealing with this, that uh, somehow that this topic will connect with you and, um, you know, you would really uh, hear our hearts today and mm -hmm. hopefully that you would leave yourself uh, a comment so that we can at least know that uh, somehow it's ministering uh, to you. Now, with that being said, let me introduce my co-host, Carlene Wright. Right, and then drum roll, <laughs> Frederick Custer. What's up? Right. All right, now, I'm kind Hello. of fearful. I'm kind of fearful. Speaking of fear, I'm kind of fearful because I don't know what that, all that anxiety. stuff. Drum roll, you know. I'm right. just anyway. So we're gonna talk lose. about fear and anxiety because yes, I mean. Sir. So many people are dealing with that. Absolutely. You know, even yeah. Christians. Yes. And you would Absolutely. think this is just supposed to be unchurched people dealing uh, with fear, the fear of the unknown, the fear of their future, fear yeah. of what's happening in our society, fear of will they ever make it? Yeah. And with that fear, yeah. so many people can't sleep at night mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because cause I hear it all the time. Yeah. I, I can't sleep right. because my mind keeps racing, going, and so forth. So we really need to talk about this topic. Absolutely. And you said something as far as and as far as sleeping, that could be considered an anxiety dis disorder. So mm -hmm. there's a stat that says anxiety disorders are the world's most common mental disorders, mm -hmm. affecting 301 million people in wow. the past five 300 years. 301. Christians are in there. Yes. And one. 301 million people have been affected by anxiety disorders or have been diagnosed wow. with anxiety disorders in the past five years. So that's dating back all since, what, 2020? Mm -hmm. Pretty much, be 19, 2019, right, right, right before right. COVID hit. Right. And um, so what is anxiety? Let's start there. What is anxiety and fear? Are they the same entity? Um, is it a spiritual thing only? Or is it a mental and emotional thing? Mm. anxiety you know I'm, I'm sweating like you said I got the the heart situations I right. got all that right. stuff is what what right. is anxiety I, I think for people um, you know anxiety is not being able to be assured of what's next mm -hmm. what the future holds it's and I guess in a society where people like to be in control mm -hmm. like to know what's happening next right of uh, that anxiety is there of, okay, am I going to make it? The rush of, 
where my next paycheck is going to come from. Right, right. You know, the scripture says, be anxious for, for nothing. nothing. Right. So I think it's the lack of that causes anxiety based on that scripture. Be anxious yeah. for nothing. Yeah. In other words, the things that you want, don't be anxious about those things because, mm -hmm. to answer the second part of your question, with anxiety comes fear. Correct. Because if you get anxious, then you become fearful. It's a byproduct. Mm -hmm. You know, you're like, okay, uh, you know, and then you just start living in fear. And I just think, as the scripture says again, God has not given us the spirit of fear, but love, power. And I love this. This is where I think we're missing it in the scripture sound mind. Why's that? If our minds could be controlled. Mm hmm. Not by our, our, our emotions, uh -huh. but by our faith in God, I think most of us wouldn't be dealing with anxiety. Do you think we bring on our own anxiety? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. We, no. Again, we worry about things we cannot change. Yeah. I, I'm quite sure people are watching right now, they can relate to this. All of us are guilty of it. Mm -hmm. We just worry, worry, worry. And you know what? What has helped me? I'm 60 years of age this year. And what has helped me? is I made up my mind some years ago. You look good, man. You look, thank you, you look thank good. you, thank yeah, you, yeah, thank yeah. you, thank you. I mean, no fear, huh. no, anxiety. no anxiety. I'm telling you. <laughs> because years ago, I made up my mind that I'm no longer going to worry about things I cannot change. Mm. Serenity. If yeah. I can't change it, I'm not going to worry about it. Even if, listen, even if I made a mistake in doing something wrong, that's going to cost me maybe a bad investment or whatever. Own up to your mistake that mm -hmm. that wasn't a good move. And I'm not going to be anxious about it. The things that God will permit the enemy to test me with, I'm not going to panic over it. I don't worry. Listen, I do not worry about what people think of me. Mm -hmm. And I'm not being arrogant. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I've gotten to a place where people are going to like you and people are not going to like you. Yes. Just give them a reason to like you. Just give them a reason to and like And allow you. the ones okay. who won't like you it's deal with them. themselves. They're, those are miserable people. Those are people who mm -hmm. got issues with themselves. Yeah, yeah, right? That's yeah. even a cause for a lot of people for anxiety. Like you're oh, talking absolutely. about social media now oh, being God. such a major Ooh, thing. That's it. Because, I mean, there's so many things to that. 301 million people. Oh, yeah. It's there's layered. an age group. There's a lot of millennials, a mm -hmm. lot of Gen Zs that are... Right are anxious because social media says you need to look like look this. You need to accomplish this. Need this needs to now. happen. And it needs to happen now. So mm -hmm. when you think about your future, if you're not, if you don't have all of these subscribers like somebody else, if you're not making the money that someone else is making you dress a certain from way. their bedroom, yeah. you know? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right, right, yeah, right. You don't right. dress a certain way. Right, there's right, right. that future. Like, right. what does my future look like? And then there's anxiety around that. Right. And, and, and society, too, with social media and the concept of success, mm -hmm. society's uh, de success. definition, I yes. should say, of success forces people to live beyond their means. Mm -hmm. That creates anxiety. See, Absolutely. Again, going back to what I was yeah, saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've gotten to the place where I don't worry about what people mm -hmm. think. Mm -hmm. um, I love people, but your narrative of who I am mm -hmm. is not who I am. Mm -hmm. I create my own narrative. Now, you said you've gotten to this place. Yeah, yes. yeah. It, it took me a while to get there mm -hmm. because I realized the same mouth that bless you is the same mouth will curse you. Oh, yeah. Ooh. People are Ooh. flaky. Ooh. Yes, they are. People will flip on you. Ooh. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to be me, walk in the word of God, be me. So I don't worry about people. I do not worry about money. Hmm. I promise mm -hmm. you the repo man could be coming 8 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. And I will go to bed at 10 o'clock tonight. No worries. Not dreaming about him. Yeah. And I will wake up, have my breakfast. And if he's supposed to come at 10 o'clock, mm -hmm. and if the car is supposed to repossess, take it. Where do you have to go in your mind, Henry, to, to get to that place? I don't worry about anything. because there. I want to live long. Huh. I, I want to be happy. Mm. And my happiness doesn't come by the car I drive. My happiness doesn't come by the house I live in. My happiness doesn't come with the clothes I wear. I want to be able to be happy mentally. Have you found your happy? Oh, what? <laughs> I am happy. 
And it took a lot for me to get here. I am a happy man. Nothing bothers me because I made a commitment to myself. Yeah. I'm 60. If God blesses me with 40 more years, I want to live to 100. I don't yeah. know. 40 more years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the reality is I'm 60. I refuse to live the rest of my life under stress. Mm-hmm. No. Yeah. You can, and I mean it. People may think you're That's just saying, statement. I am telling you, come take the house, mm. take the car. I fight you first, but come take it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah, not giving it up easy. Okay. easy say, but, but he got hands. Come get it. But you know what? Leave me with waking up every morning saying, I like me. I like God. No stress. Yeah. I'm not worried. Is the light bill is going to be paid? Is the car note going to be paid? No, I don't buy things anymore I can't afford. Uh, I used to do that. Mm -hmm. That's what brought on anxiety mm -hmm. and, oh, yes. and so forth. No, I used to, you know, younger, got to buy a new car, got to do that. No, uh -huh. no, man, I don't do that no more. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. buy a used car. Used car. I drive a car. I remember I drove a car for 11 years. Okay. 11 years. I'm telling you, I Holy drove crap. this every minute. I fix it up. It's like the car knew when I was getting paid. <laughs> I'm right telling now. you, it knew my payday. It just knew it like, payday. Oh. It just said, okay, I need some of your I money. I need that money. You know, so you got to get to <laughs> yeah. that place, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, where you don't worry about anything. And I want people out there to mm -hmm. hear this. Stop worrying about tomorrow. Isn't that what Jesus yeah. did? It's actually He's, not promised to us. Exactly. <laughs> so. He said to the disciples, he said, why are you worried about where yeah. you're going to sleep, what you're going to eat? Mm -hmm. Don't worry. If the birds of the air yeah. don't worry about that, mm. should you be? shouldn't worry because God more? is going to take care of you. So my attitude is today, guess what? All right, if I'm blessed to have collard mm -hmm. greens, mm. I'm going to eat it, not complaining that I wanted steak mm. because Content. my steak days are going to come. Yeah. But see, mm. there's competition too plays mm. a big role into this because today may be my collard green day, but I see you having steak and I'm like, I want to be... Mind your own business. <laughs> and Get out of my yeah. business. People, point, mind your own point. business. Yes. Stop looking at yeah, people's man. lives yes. and trying to compete. And that's where the Brass social media aspect, greener. right, and comparison. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Comparison kills. Comparison kills. kills. Yeah, absolutely. That's so... You, when you brought up that yeah. point about, but when I see you, why are you over my fence? <laughs> why are you over my fence? <laughs> I'm about to spray you with this hose. <laughs> I know. So that's the culture that we were in. We're in competition culture. Mm -hmm. So if you have, I have to get one up on you and, you know, all of that just... And bring on anxiety? Breeds anxiety. That's the culture that you we know, see now. Because you can't afford that. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you rush to get married because your girlfriends are getting married. Right. You rush to go get a, a girl because, you know, everybody else is doing it. You rush to go buy this house. You rush mm -hmm. to go buy this car. Yeah, you man. rush to go on a vacation because you saw everybody was in DR. Selfies. And selfies. <laughs> Right, you know, in DR, yeah. right? And you can't even afford your backyard. No. <laughs> so, I mean, think about that. You can't even afford to go by your pool. Oh my you know? God. I mean, come on, we yeah. got to stop That's the real. madness. Because a lot of the anxiety is created, I believe, mm -hmm. is self-inflicted. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about anxiety when it comes to finance. Okay. Um, can you imagine? It's very simple. Mm -hmm. If people will just live within their means, you make $100,000, mm -hmm. a portion of that belongs to the government. Mm -hmm. If you're a believer, you're supposed to give a portion to God. Mm -hmm. The rest you have to live off. That's what your budget should be. And I promise you, if you try to do that, a lot of the financial stress will go away. Yeah, I have to agree with you there. Because finances is, is a big part. It and is. I just thought about for women, you know, yeah. because check this out. According to the World Health Organization, stats show that women are more affected more by affected. anxiety than men. I and wonder why. <laughs> women are more yes. affected. Why do y'all think that, Fred? And anxiety than think? men. Um, Fred is the expert, so I let him. <laughs> wow. Let him okay. <laughs> um, honestly, I Talk think. Talk to us nice, Fred. Talk okay. to us nice. Okay. <laughs> let me see what we get out I my can New find. Yorker. <laughs> um, you know, first and foremost, I think um, women are more emotional. Yes. You know, as That's far right. as they, they, they take on that emotion of anxiety a lot easier than guys do um, in regards to how they mm -hmm. um, think and act and feel we pro process we are built completely different the way we see things the way we even manage ourselves and how we, we we're chill like by nature right 
Like right. we, we're chill by nature. We don't so. worry about it. We right. really don't. Right. The mortgage. And that's why y'all get mad at us. Because right. yeah. we don't move when y'all want us right. to that's move. It. It. What would you say, Henry, before I come for both of y'all? What would you say? Uh, for me, right. I, I just think, I agree with, with Frederick, you know, um, that women are more emotional creatures. And what you all tend to do mm-hmm. is, um, you know, you, you guys so want to be in control. You know, I... I and 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 you you guys are strategists, and you don't give room mm-hmm. for 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 you know variables or for any detour. It's like this way, uh-huh. Uh-huh. and when it doesn't happen, you panic. Uh-huh. You know, so for women, uh-huh. I think you know you get angry at us guys because we could be living in the same house, and bills are backed up, whatever, and he's sitting there watching football. <laughs> Now and you were having a fit over it, yeah, because the rent is due, <laughs> yep, the car notes is due, and yep. so forth. Because we don't worry about those things, right? Mm-hmm. We worry about other stuff, right? But you guys just worry about everything, and I think it's because women more want to see results. Uh-huh. Why we men hang out in the process. Like we want to see the light stay on. Th- th- that's <laughs> We're in the process. We're like, we know we're going to get there. Right, Frederick? <laughs> no, that's real. We're going mean, to get there. And right. honestly, I also could think about um, in regards to the, I won't say roles, but sometimes now in the society we live in, maybe women are taking on too much of a character trait that is not. So why are, why are they at that point? And and so I know where this is why, going. <laughs> hey, I'm, why are women bring it up. Mm-hmm. at the point where they one have to say, you know what? I have to, you know, I know my feminine energy is. There's a lot of talk about that now. Right. I know how yeah. to operate in that, but then also I have to kind of step over into right. this side of it and operate because we what's men drop the ball that, that's as the bottom masculine line energy and, and yeah. do some things like right. make sure the bills are paid make sure that mm-hmm. because you're going to watch tv mm-hmm. and just keep flipping right. i'm going to have to get right. the pen and paper and figure and it i agree out. with that i i agree that yes some of us men are the cause of the anxiety that is that that is in women right because we're not playing our role correct right and because women by nature are finishers, mm-hmm. they want to yes. accomplish things, you know. So here it is. You'll be like, okay, let's put a budget together. Let's do this. Let's mm-hmm. do that. You know, uh, you know, figure out. Eight o'clock, you go pick up the kids. You, do, you, know, you guys create that um, schedule. Mm-hmm. We, we just, okay, we know it's going to be done, do. <laughs> you know, and so forth. So I, 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 I get it. I think if I can talk to the brothers for a minute. Listen up. I think if we take our rightful place mm-hmm. and if we begin to become men yeah. and find a way to deprogram our thinking based on how our mothers raised us. Speak to it. Because a lot of men mm-hmm. are behaving based on how their mothers raised them. Break that That's down. why women are suffering and dealing with certain yeah. things because she married, watch this, she married a little boy and mm. not a grown man. Yes. He's a little boy in a grown man's skin. Why? Because yeah. he's a mama's boy. Mm-hmm. Mm. She loves him. Mm. And, and ladies, don't come at me at this, mm. especially mothers, because the, the father was not there. Yeah. And... Her son Mm -hmm. was everything to her. Mm -hmm. So she trained him in a way where she did everything for him. Oh, yeah. That's Tyrese and baby. So he had nothing. He had. (laughs) (laughs) Shout out to baby boy. (laughs) He had nothing to worry about. (laughs) So he would sit there. Mom would come in, pay Mm -hmm. the bills, everything. So when he gets hooked up to a woman now, marries her and in the house, it's the same pattern. Mm -hmm. Now she's freaking out. So brothers, if we could deprogram ourselves and say, you know what, let's step up to the plate, become the man that God has called us to be mm-hmm. and kind of lessen the load on women. Yeah. yeah. You know, help them not to become so anxious. Yeah. Take on the, baby, I got this. Mm-hmm. I, I, I trust me. I, I, and, and not just say it, Actually but deliver it. <laughs> that part. Yeah. Just, just deliver. Yeah. I got this. Mm-hmm. You're going to pay the bills. You're going to, 
you know, help her out with the kids. Um, you're going to make sure you show her a future. And, and here's the thing. Even when you've done all of that, there may be issues mm -hmm. where things don't work out. Yeah. The greatest thing a man can do for a woman is to give her security. Yes. Security, not just in dollars and cents, uh -huh. but security that when she's in that moment where she's panicking, uh -huh. full of anxiety, fearful, the soft words, the touch, babe, babe, yeah. I got this. Trust me. How long you've known me? Mm. Uh. Have I ever, ever, ever uh -huh. allowed you to be homeless? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that one time when we was in the car and you told me that you had it all under control? Oh, you're and a now man. You're a man. You're supposed to help me. You're supposed to be helping oh, you me. I'm, I'm, I'm with my, you know, you you're know, supposed to be helping me, not on that side. But I love that you went. Now that you route. mess up all the point that I was trying to say. What really, really, Fred? Well, you know, people gotta understand. Now, now, another thing is, what does anxiety look like we're talking like about anxiety you. <laughs> it looks like you wow that's what it does wow because you mess up my plans man wow i'm you trying sure to did. deliver a message anxiety <laughs> looks like wow. you <laughs> well according to google anxiety the symptoms look like trouble concentrating or making decisions fred no <laughs> feeling irritable he's tense digging himself or deeper. restless <laughs> experiencing nausea or abdominal distress, this sounds a lot like diarrhea to me. <laughs> having heart palpitations, sweating, trembling, or shaking, trouble sleeping, having a sense of impending danger, panic, or doom. Stick a pin real quick. Hold that definition. Stick a pin. Because I loved what you were saying about creating the safe place for the woman. Of course. To take her out of that anxious mode. Like, let's mm -hmm. put this thing in, in park. Uh -huh. Right. You know, because right. a lot of it is... We're in a relationship, we're married, whatever it is. How can your words build a safe haven right, for me? And that it. is so the important. The words will build, right. Yes. You know, yeah, yeah. Not going to say, what's wrong with you? Right. right. Words oh, you look so sad. Right. The sensitivity. Right. You know, stuff like that. Yeah. That is yeah. so important to help with anxiety. I just, right. I needed to right. go back to that for a moment. Yeah, 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 Ladies, yeah. you know, that's like everything. Mm -hmm. Like, we love that. And at the Word. same time now, yes. picking up for the brothers. Because we men get stressful on the job. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You know, the, the weight of knowing this is my family. Right. I need to take care of my family. It would be nice if you sisters could just go to the brother and say, hey, you know, babe, do you have a moment? Can we just sit down in the living room? Let's talk. Mm -hmm. First of all, thank you. Mm. Thank you. And he may say, thank you for what? Thank you. Thank you for making me feel safe. Uh. Thank you that Though we know the bills are kind of behind a little bit and so forth, every day you go out and you work, you hustle, and you come home. You help me with the kids. Uh -huh. Man, I, I, listen, I want you to know I appreciate you. And by the way, I know when you go out there, there's a lot you're dealing with. But babe, when you come home, woo, I am your comfort zone. I am okay. your pillow. I am your counselor. Talk to me. I got you. Yo. Hello. <laughs> Yo. No, that's Dr. Solid. Love is in the that building. Is, that you is can, solid. You can do that to the brother? Yes, we Let got that, ladies. We can do that, right, ladies? Yeah, listen, we got it. Listen. You keep him. We got that on lock. He would be an idiot. Bet, ladies, right? We got that. He would that. be a total idiot. Now, sometimes y'all don't get it, though. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> he would be an idiot. If you do that, sisters, and he mess around, yeah. if you give him that comfort, yeah, that no, that's I real. Got you. I know. I know you're mm -hmm. worried about the rent, but baby, listen. I don't want us to lose the house, but if we lose it, I will go in a motel with you, mm. cause you are my man. What? I'm going to write a, a motel song with the <laughs> No, I'm, I'm writing it for you because that's know, good. We just don't know how to speak to yeah. each other. Communication. That's the problem. Communication. To, to diffuse that anxiety yeah. and it, it just releases that fear. It does. And with the fear, because the definition that you will take the pin out now that you started mm. to, to talk about, it brings mm. us to situational anxiety and even, mm. you know, fear. Because Christians, we talked about this 301 million. A mm. lot of that are believers. Believers right? in there. And and why, why are we worried? That part. 
I mean, if we believe. in the end, we're going to win. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if the process, though, the process, process is where of. all of that happens. You know what I think it is? I just think it is the thought of not getting what you want. At the end of the day, right? At the end of the day, yeah. if you pray to God, okay, God, I want this, and you don't get it, uh-huh. you, you, you panic. Because I live my life every day now, and I can honestly say I'm at a place in my life, and I don't mean to brag about this. I want for nothing. Uh-huh. Nothing. If I die right now, I've accomplished a lot. I want for nothing. Mm-hmm. I would like some more stuff, but if I don't get it, I won't get anxious. I won't be mad. I'm not worried. I am okay. Even if, thank God, they, you know, old people say knock on wood. Yeah, you know, yeah. I'm healthy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But if sickness was to hit my body, I'm going to do my part. You know, yeah. I'm going to eat properly, exercise take whatever medication I need to take with prayer. But if sickness hit my body and I pray and I've done everything that I can, at the end of the day, if that sickness is going to take me out of here, here's where my mind is. Mm-hmm. I've lived a good life. I don't want to die now. But at the end of the day, if God chooses it to take me home now, I'm good Y'all going to be crying. Right. I'm good because you know what? You won't know. I will be mm-hmm. at a better place. Yeah. yeah. See, that's why anxiety is no longer a part of my life. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And we're glad that you're there because right. that is the desire. Right. The desire. To, to be there. But a lot of people are on that journey, you know, and everything Getting brings there. on anxiety. I even remember when I was going through my divorce, like mm. just hearing a phone ring and the other person calling. It's like it made me so anxious. Why? You know? I could not even explain the entire scenario because there's situational anxiety, which can be from divorce, you know, trauma, different things like that. And the phone rings, sometimes a car would pull up in the front. And I'm thinking as a person is just like my throat feels like it's coming out of my mouth, you know, just anxious. Mm. Um, so all of those things that are happening with anxiety, it's like, OK, as believers, I got through it, you know, right. thank God right. through right. the word of right. God. But some people are at that crossroad. It's like, okay, do I medicate? Do I, like, what do I do? Right. Now, I literally went to the doctor. She gave me medications and mm, literally wow. I prayed. I was like, God, I do not want to take this. And I heard the voice of God tell me, I will take care of you, six words. And I held on to that and I wow. was okay. Wow. wow, And those six words for me meant grace, right? Wow, wow. Mm. And, but a lot of people as believers, and I see it so many times, they start medicating because they're going through situational right, depression, right. even though they true, believe. True. So and won't go to counseling. Help? And mm-hmm. that see, too. see, there are some situations that medication is appropriate. Right. I don't want to knock that. But one of the problem, uh, problems I have with the body of Christ, especially the black community, is we're not willing to embrace yeah. counseling. What's up with that? Right? Yeah. We're not willing to embrace it. Life presents all kinds of challenges. Yes. And if you're not careful, it will become a small room, walls caving in on you. Mm-hmm. And sometimes, thank God you were able to deal Absolutely. with it by yourself. Everybody's not like that. Yeah. Right. Some people won't get out of that situation, the anxiety and the fear, unless they get therapy. Yeah. Right. You know, so if you're watching Mm-hmm. and so forth, and you know you can connect with this and you haven't fixed your situation, mm-hmm. maybe you just need to invest in going to therapy, mm-hmm. spending the money. I'm not talking about going to a minister for the minister to pray for you. He's not a, a licensed mm-hmm. um, you know, therapist. Sure. You know, mm-hmm. Let him pray or her, let her pray, but you need to go to a, a therapist who's Christian-based. You know, yeah. Their counseling is based on the Word of God. But go to get the advice. Because I tell you what, uh-huh. don't be alarmed. I mean, the stats that you gave is so mm-hmm. true. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of people, especially in the church. Oh, yeah. yeah. Quiet as it's kept. That are acting out certain behavior. Uh-huh. That is not normal. Mm. What does that say about their testimony? Like, how do they... <sighs> there are some mental challenges. Uh-huh. And I know it... it, it and I'm. this is no... F- comedy now right mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. there are some mental challenges with people mm-hmm. just and because of a spirit of discernment mm-hmm. right, i'm able to see it that that's not normal that yeah. person needs therapy yeah. yeah and maybe with prayer but also medication mm-hmm. that's not normal 
Right. They need right. more than you. Yeah. the behavior, yeah. all of that kind of a stuff. And I think we need to deal with this. Anxiety is not healthy for us. Mm -hmm. It also brings on sicknesses. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Stress. Absolutely. Yes. And you, you were going into something as far as speaking on that because it takes faith to believe mm. that, you know, I'm going to make it through. Mm -hmm. So an anxiety as a form of fear, how... What happens when fear meets faith? Wow, powerful question. Mm -hmm. What happens when anxiety meets faith? I'll tell you what, what happened. Anxiety doesn't stand a chance mm. of overpowering faith. Mm -hmm. When you say to yourself, God, I believe you, that whatever is threatening me has no power mm -hmm. to over. Mm -hmm. Take my life and to outdo your spoke, spoken word over my life. Right. All of a sudden, yeah. fear and anxiety is just start leaving your body. You said something critical, sir. Belief. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because the same muscle that you need to believe that it's not going to happen mm. is That's the good. exact That's same good. muscle you need to believe that you it will happen. You just redeemed yourself. <laughs> you just redeemed Thank yourself. Because you. I Thank still you. have you in my heart. <laughs> You just, but, but seriously, you just redeemed seriously, yourself. like Preach. the same muscle that I need to use yeah. to believe that it's not going to happen the is the exact same muscle mm -hmm. that I need to believe Believe's that it will that happen. Yeah, it's a decision. Wow. it's just that simple. Is wow. in in speaking it. Of course, it can take some time to probably act it out, depending on how deep you're in it. Right. Mm -hmm. But the simple act of deciding that I'm actually not going to believe the damning thing that's going to happen. I'm right. going to believe the blessed thing right. that's going right. to happen. Right. Right. And standing on it and then continuing to walk it out. Yeah. Right. The right. continuation of because I'll I'll continue to believe that it's not going to happen for my good and still be in the dark. Right. Or mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can wake up another day. Right. You know, smile that I'm grateful that I have another chance, another yeah. opportunity, and to try again. Man, th 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 this is good. Let me end it yes. with this. <laughs> Let me end it with this. And, and I want people to really hear this. Mm -hmm. It's okay. If you're a Christian, mm -hmm. it's okay to admit that you suffer from anxiety. Absolutely. Doesn't mean that you're unholy, that how dare you. It's to human nature. That's why the scripture says God did not give us mm. the spirit because he was talking to the believer. Mm -hmm. Sometimes right. we take on stuff that God didn't give to sure. us. So it's okay. Mm -hmm. We're not here to beat you up. You know, if you're living with fear, whatever, here's the question. Mm. Piggybacking on what um, Frederick said, what are you going to do about it? You can apply faith now mm -hmm. and say, God, I'm not going to worry about that job situation anymore. Not going to worry about that medical situation anymore. Not going to worry about that relationship situation yeah. anymore. Mm -hmm. You know, that ex that left me and the stuff that he did. Just if, if you just yeah. tell yourself, God, no more anxiety, no more fear. I'm going to trust the process. Trust you. Yeah. If you didn't allow it to happen, it's a reason. If you allowed it to happen, it's a reason because sometimes our what we consider losses mm. Mm. are gains. Hallelujah. Sometimes God will purposely yeah. cause us to lose some things because mm. it wasn't good for us. I'm mm. telling you, yeah, there are some yeah, people. Real. There's there's a man that you had to walk away from, and though it hurt you, and yeah. he had to go. Mm -hmm. She had to go because right. had they stayed, right. they'd have messed up your future. That's right. But you see, we're yeah. creatures. We hold on to things, mm -hmm. you know. So get rid of the anxiety, man. You got money problems right now. Listen to me. I want to close this, man. <laughs> if you got money <laughs> problem, man, let me tell you how to fix your money problem. Trust Dallas. me. It's very easy. The question is, will you be willing to do it? Right. If you're short on cash mm -hmm. and you got plenty mm -hmm. issues and you got a whole lot of debt and so forth, here's what you do. Number one, first, admit mm -hmm. that you don't have money and that you're in a serious mm -hmm. crisis. I was going to say admit that you're broke, <laughs> but I'm trying yeah. not to use the word broke anymore. <sighs> Admit mm -hmm. that you don't have any money and that you made some mistakes mm -hmm. and so forth. Secondly, get a budget. Yeah. Look at what you make and then 
live within that, which may cause you to have to give up some stuff. Yeah. Mm. Are you ready for this? Give up some stuff. You may have to move. Aye. You may have to turn in the car. Mm. Aye. You may have to do your own nails. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Oh, Crickets. Wow. You may have to do your own nails. You may have to not go to get your hair done. Ooh. You, you, you may just have to just do it yourself. What a cap oh, on. Ladies, don't. Right? Just, hat that's on. it. Just, that's it. Brothers, you may not need to go to, to another mm. game. You may not need to buy your little gadgets or whatever. Yep. Stop spending. Mm -hmm. And here's the thing. Take your leftovers for lunch. Do whatever it takes. And I promise you, mm. you will see peaceful at night. But if you say to yourself, I want to get out of debt, God, just help me. And you're still spending foolishly, still spending more than you have and don't have a budget, then anxiety yeah. is going to happen. Kick in. You, yeah. Listen, if you follow my instructions, you will go to bed. Watch this. You will go to bed mm -hmm. in a small little room because you're going you're gonna to get to a big house later. Mm -hmm. But you go to bed in a small mm -hmm. little room, nappy head, Mm. <laughs> Whatever it may be, but you're going to lay down, and I promise you, you owe nobody mm. nothing. And you're going to wake up, and you're going to feel fine. But if you keep living trying to please mm. Paul and Silas, mm. I promise you, you're going to go to jail. That's mm. the end of our podcast today. Yeah, I yeah, hope yeah, we yeah. were able to get yeah. something to you and you got something out of the podcast. And for those of you who watched the entire episode, we appreciate you so much. For those of you who enjoy our content and would like to financially support us, we need your financial support. Please do so today so we can keep the content to come in to uplift people and to help them. Please go to my website, henryfernandez.org, and select the podcast and partnership link uh, to be one of the real ones supporters. Please do it today. And you can also support the podcast by sharing this episode with someone. And don't forget Get to follow me on IG and on TikTok and leave me a message until next time to all of you real ones. Let's keep it real. God bless. <laughs>